Hi everyone, welcome to the 3D Artist Guide to Houdini Quick Start. My name is Edwin, I am a mechanical engineer and I have experience in implementing projects in food factories. I have also experience in implementing SAP project system software and in training end users to manage it. As with everything in life, there is always a but. Well, I could say that in the last years, the passion for my career started to cool down and I rather started to feel very attracted to visual art and specifically 3D visuals. And I decided to start this journey of learning about composition, color, lighting and 3D software. Concerning Houdini, I've been using this software for about three years. Mostly I've been doing personal projects, but now I'm also starting doing advertisement projects. Although I had some experience in 3D software, learning even the basics of Houdini was challenging and took some time. By no means I'm an expert or advanced user, but I do have some experience and that's what I want to share with you so that you can have an easier and more effective approach to learn Houdini. And if I have to give you a simple piece of advice, I would certainly tell you, please do not hurry in opening Houdini and start pushing buttons, but learn the structure of the program and its key concepts first. And that's precisely the goal of this video series, to understand the structure of the program and learn the key concepts to start using Houdini. But before entering the Houdini world, another goal of this video series is to provide an overview of what to be a 3D artist means and the key points you should be aware of. This is neither an intermediate nor an advanced Houdini course. This is a quick start course, so it's aimed at the aspiring 3D artist or at anyone interested in getting started in the 3D world with Houdini. So you don't need any knowledge or experience in 3D or math or physics or any software. Houdini is well known to have a very steep learning curve, but don't panic, the way to overcome this challenge is to learn well the structure of the program and the procedural paradigm rather than just learning how the buttons and the menus work. We'll be using simple real-life analogies to illustrate the structure of the program and its key concepts. And of course, we'll be also exploring the main functionalities of the program. This video series are conformed by the following three sections. Section 01 – The Aspiring 3D Artist Section 02 – Understanding Houdini Section 03 – Quick Start in Houdini In the first section, we'll be talking about what is a 3D artist and the key points you should be aware of so that you can define your scope and focalize your effort and resources. We'll be reviewing the main available tools for the 3D artist and also getting started with the very basics of Houdini. In the second section, we'll be learning what Houdini is and getting an understanding of how it operates. To this purpose, we'll be analyzing the procedural concept, hierarchy in Houdini and attributes. We'll be also learning about geometry, data types, vectors, time and motion, and basic logic. I understand that many people don't like either vectors nor programming, but don't worry, we'll be using Houdini to explain these concepts visually. In the third section, we'll be creating our first complete 3D project in Houdini. And during this task, we'll be exploring the main functionalities of the program, 
setting a project, creating geometry, modifying geometry, animating properties, creating basic simulations, creating and assigning materials, lighting, rendering and compositing. Well, that's all for now and thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and allow notifications so that you'll be informed about the next videos.